Generic greetings and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies once again. In the previous episode, we made the Murrington and it was okay, I guess. We haven't really had a full trial run though. I mean, we've used it to take out things it wasn't really designed to be against. So we rammed into spiders, we tried to kill a mad scientist, and we also managed to board a couple of vessels because they flew over the top of it. But it's never really been used for what it was intended, which is drive straight towards a defensive structure or other ground vehicles, ram it, board it, win. So hopefully we'll be testing that. But before we do that, I think we need to make another design. And this is something that uh, someone has been mentioning for a couple of episodes now, or in the previous series, not this one, but in the previous series, they said, um, what about some sort of carrier? Now, they originally said, let's just go to over the uh, build land ship or design land ship. Uh, they said some sort of carrier and um, like, as in you have a vessel that can have a lot of crew on it, a lot of things to board, but also carry other vehicles. And I think what they really meant was have like a, have something like, uh, an aircraft carrier, but because those sort of things aren't in, we'd have to use aerial torpedoes instead, which is fine. But that made me think a little bit. What if, what if we make something that's very long and quite high up on the ground with a very flat top? And the idea is that we will be able to put vehicles on the top of that and then drive it forward and then unload them. The reason you would do that is because some of our track vehicles have problem with the terrain. This one will have legs. Now, I don't know if this is going to have any advantage to... Uh, well, I don't think it's going to really give us any major advantages, as in we could probably just sit back and bombard stuff anyway, but it's the most interesting build I've heard in quite a while, so I'm going to build it. So large legs, and we're going to have two sets of large legs, and then a big flat top, and what I'll do is I'll get rid of one of these large legs, and I want to put our structural stuff on top and design it as one lump and then I can expand it as much as I want. So I'll build one section and then I can just sort of clone the section. Oh, do I want to do that? No, no, I don't want to do that. Let's get rid of large legs, put them back down and then we'll have a gap of, well, I want it so the legs don't touch each other. So it would be that. Um, and then maybe one more. Is that too long? Um, is there such a thing as too long? That's about the length I... Hmm. Let's make it too... Uh, this, like, too... Hang on, not too long, as in... T-O-O, -O, as in... T-W-O, like, as in the number two. Yeah, two legs long, not three. Okay, there's that. We will go over to basic, and uh, actually, do we want to do basic? We'll go to structural first. And you can see you have a large keel. Now, the keel will be going on the top because I want to have it so we can, um, like, house whatever vehicles we're having on a first surface that is not going to simply crush the thing underneath it. So that should be okay. But um, do I want to do it that way or do I want to have it raised at one? Mm, you know what? Let's put let's put the coal in first. So it'll be over in resources and then over to coal store. And we'll say one, two... One, two, that's not going to work. Okay, right. It's because I want a fire door there. I want a one of those there. Move that along to there because then we can have two, two and two. And, oh, no, 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 I'll have to move along a little bit more because I'm going to have a fire point in between. Then go over to our structural tab, over to fire door. Fire door there, fire door there. That's those connected up. That is technically a vehicle that will work. Uh, apart from we haven't got crew. Okay, so maybe it's not that. Uh, then what we'll do is go over to command and crew, over to a bridge. We'll put a bridge in uh, probably far forward-ish, maybe? I don't know. I could actually suspend it down the bottom like a bit of a gondola. That's what we could do. Let's go to quarters, actually. And how many quarters do we need? Um, two quarters. Actually, we'll put it a little bit further along to there. And then we'll have a deck. No, we won't have decks. We'll use a corridor. Corridor like so. This now says, a recommended crew 10, air sailors 24. More than enough to have actually this thing moving. So we can actually delete that bit if we really wanted to. And then instead put a... What is that? Recommended crew 10, air sailors 12. Go over to a cockpit put a cockpit in if we wanted to and then we'd have a little bit of a gap for something do we want that i think actually i think a bridge is best for this 
but we're still on uh, 13 crew recommended, 12 is what we've got. But that's not a big problem because what we can do is on the front, where we do technically need a weapon, where we do need a weapon of some kind, I could probably go over to weapons and then, actually no, it'll be resources first. Resources first. Small ammo store there, and then we'll uh, get rid of that for a second. We'll go over, um, actually we'll probably put that up one for reasons that hopefully will come clear in a moment. Go for a rifle, put a rifle in there, and then finally we will put a, where is it, basic supply hatch, which doesn't have a one at the top sadly, which is a problem, so we're going to have to get rid of that, and then put that in like so, and there is... Not yet finished. It's got supply zero of nine, but a supply hatch does get that does have enough, I believe. So that is technically a legit ship. Oh, it needs more supply hatches. That's a shame. That is a shame. Hmm. I guess we're just gonna have to supply hatches on the back like so. Or do we put a big supply hatch underneath this? I don't know. We could easily get rid of these fire doors. No, actually, that's a bad idea. Let's not get rid of fire doors. I don't know when that statement has ever been a good idea in the history of <laughs> human civilization. Do we need a fire door there? Well, it was probably put there for a purpose, wasn't it? No, but budget cuts. Uh, no. Um, right, we'll go and shove if another, f another one of these in. It's a shame that we can't have that there. It is quite a shame. It'll be that then, I guess. There you go. Right, and then we'll go over to structural, and I would like a large keel, but I have a feeling it'll be so heavy. Yes, it's so heavy that it can hardly move. Do you see that on the top there? It just says, difficulty navigating. How heavy are these things? Oh, 1,400. What is the entire vehicle? Only 3,000. Okay, right, and max carry weight is... Actually, quite a bit, but you have to consider we're putting a lot of vehicles on the top of this. So I think just strut. Just struts. Like that. Okay. There we go. And I hope that is right. And then we'll do that. And this. I think that is about what I was aiming for. Obviously, this can't have more struts there. What if we, what if we change it slightly and go to weapons and have a instead of a rifle, we have grenades. Grenades might be better for our needs because we might be able to. No, we can't. It's still, it still is what it is. Now we're going to put a rifle in there then. Or we could be really dodgy about this. Put a ventral turret underneath. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. I like that. Actually put the ventral turret right underneath, like there. The problem is that it's coming very close to this ground bit, and I think if it drops down, it's going to smash it. So perhaps this is still the way to go. Um. Okay, right. That's it. Fine. So over to armor. Obviously, we're going to go steel armor. Fill that. And then we will have a... Nameplate, which will go right in the. S oh, we've got to put the front, and um, we will have to name this thing. So we'll go over to. Um, hang on, how do we name it? There we go. Rename, and it'll be called the GLV, and it'll be called the Lift. Hang on, Liftington. There we go. So it's like a bridge, essentially. It's just a big bridge, and save the design. Save that and leave we will build and how expensive is it uh 1704 okay so it's not too expensive it just is quite expensive for what it is hmm. i also understand that it might be completely useless let's click on this and move our ground ship around. As I said in the previous episode, this series is all about trying to focus on the ground vessels. Ah, we're at minus, mo we're at minus monies. We are at minus monies. So what we need to do 
is move. We need to attack the Mad Scientist for a start off. Killing that will give us bigger city income. So let's go over there and let's see what we can do. I don't know if this is going to work and we will really find out when we just try to ram through these. So let's just click uh, start and then pause it for a second. This, I'm going to click ram and go to there. This one, I will do the same thing and click ram and go to there. And then we will watch the inevitable absolute murdering of these robots as we sort of crush into them and then push them and push them and push them and push them and stomp, 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 stomp. Yes, you're getting crushed, mate. And, yep, yeah, we've lost the... We've lost the tracks on the bottom of this, which is slightly problematic. Okay, we're gonna have to ram that back over. And... I don't know if we can win this now because we can't get over our own vehicle. And also, this one at the back really does hit like a freight train. This weird plasma ball thing that it's firing really does hit hard. Ah, no, we can't. We are going to flee because it's better to flee and save our uh, our vessels. So we will repair those. Good little attack there, though. Maybe if we do that again with sabotage, sabotage, sabotage construction. Yeah, you can see it was almost repaired and then they sabotaged it. Right, let's repair these. What I want to do is actually use some, def some of these, but I don't know whether or not we should use them all because then we can get attacked from the... Are we going to get attacked from the uh, the island? No, we're not. That one hasn't got any um, airships nearby. It's only on the right-hand side that they've got something. And this one is ground vessel only, and the closest airship is here. So actually moving over to this part shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, it's, it's moving okay. So once we attack the scientists with all of this, hopefully... That'll give us... Well, it should give us some more money because it's minus 10% city income at the moment, whereas now we should be all right. Oh, God, grief, look at the height of those. They've got very, very high service ceiling. Not that I'm going to be able to do much with it, you understand, because I reckon they're going to get knocked out of the sky as fast... Well, I think they're just going to be knocked out pretty much instantaneously. And why on earth do we not have our other vehicle? Where is our other vessel? I don't know where it is. Let's flee back. Okay, move back. Why did it not bring that vessel along with it? That is so strange. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, oh, now they're attacking me. Right, move back. Right, if, I'm, if, I, if I keep on doing that, no, they're not going to attack again. That's fine. Right, so, they've only got one of these weird whatever they are left. There it is there. The problem is this, look. We're not going to be able to get over it. So, this would be a perfect time to actually use our nice bridge building... Bridge... Uh, building vessel. It's not a building vessel. It's just a bridging vehicle, technically. Um, it bridges the area. This one's going to say ram to there. This one is going to do the exact same thing. This one is going to... I don't know what it does. This is something we started off with. It's got uh, cannons and a bit of a ramming thing. So we're going to actually say move to there. Uh, this one... These ones are going to do the same thing over to there. Because what I'm going to do is try and ram the top gun off. There we go. So we're ramming into this one. Soaring away. Soaring away. Chop, 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 chop. And it's dead. It's going to go down. There we go. And now we need to try and get over this, which it can't. And then immediately it's legs fall off because that's just what it does for some reason. Okay, fine. We're going to move this down to here. These ones will move down. There we go. That's in. And actually, we'll pull back to there. These ones, what do they do as well? These are little mini ones that have uh, no purpose whatsoever. Hang on. What do they have? Are they armed? Is that... I don't even know what they're armed with. Um, We're going to move down to there and we'll see what happens. That one's pulling back and over to there. That's fine. And then ram to there, and then take the gun out. Here we go. And... That's what we wanted. That's exactly what we wanted. And the lightning strikes as well. And that's it, victory. We managed to take that weapon out. So even though the Mad Scientist Tower is still there, we took the weapon out because now it's classed as armed. We win. Job done. And there you go. So, we've also got... Question mark, bonus, underscore, flesh crackers. Um... Oh, Right. By studying slightly uh, singed notes and half-assembled machines of the now-deceased mad scientist, your empire's engineers are able to create detailed plans for the Flesh Cracker Terramex, powerful addition to your arsenal. <gasps> what? Okay, that's a thing now. Right, so we've got, we've actually got them quite strange machines, have we? No, we can't have. We can't have. I mean, we can have. It is possible. I'm going to have to pause a second. Yes, we can build one. It's a bit glitchy for some reason, but we can make one. Problem is, we don't really have much money. So we're going to have to take over another area. Now, what I'm going to do is these little ships, I'm going to scrap them. I don't think they're doing much apart from taking credits off me. Uh, so we're going to scrap those. We're going to a little bit back, but more importantly, we get some, well, our balance is now in the positive. The... 
I think the uncouth will move back to genericans and have that guarding that and then we might attack a cullen rod or whatever it is send a spy for 100 let's have a quick look to see what they have view the city and they have one little defensive guy look little mini tank by the look of it not as good as turret as what i have and then oh lovely defensive structures and a nice flat ground perfect for assaulting. Here we go, Merrington invade. This should be, I would hope, a very simple task. And there we go. So we will uh, start the fight, and this one will immediately ram, and we're going to ram straight over to here. This one will do the same thing, and we're just going to go through this, as in this is going to be a bit of a roadblock for us, because... Ah, oh, it's backing up. It's see... <laughs> oh, right. <clears throat> so, it's seen the iceberg coming, and it's... Uh... Yeah, reverse, reverse, nuns. <laughs> Ah, good old father take jokes. Uh, right, so, charging forward, and yep, the saw is doing exactly what saw does, and now we're driving over the top of it. And we've beached ourselves. Because even though these tracks look like they can suspend stuff, it looks like they don't. Which is really bad. Because now we can't move. And the worst thing is, this is something we'd normally should be able to shoot. But because of how this is... Oh, now we've lost that again. This is getting really old with the uh, tracks falling apart. So I guess I'll flee then. Over to here. And they're going to construct the eagle, whatever that is. Maybe it's the same thing. And then we'll repair. Because apparently the tracks are made of Swiss cheese. Uh, repair is going to cost me 238 generic units of currency. So we're going to have to wait for a couple of turns until we can actually get that. And then we might be able to attack and take that guy out once more. I will recall the spy because that will give us some more money. And then we will repair once more this thing, which shouldn't take long. And then we'll go in. This one gives us flamethrowers, by the way. I forgot to mention, I think, in the last episode. So we do have flamethrowers. Ah, and immediately, as soon as I go to attack, this guy is coming back over. So I'm just going to pull this back. He will then turn around, and now I'll invade again. Because even if he wants to come back... Look, this is all one, this is all big, one big um, uh, alliance now, which is worrying. So he still has this thing here. I'm going to um, leave... The, I'm not going to... I'm going to have this bit further back. What happened is it actually ended up riding the top of this and maybe the weight uh, damaged that. So, yes, we have to be careful. We'll start this fight, stop it immediately, go to ram. Oh, hang on, they're both on ram. Uh, actually, that's fine. Both go to ram to there and then hopefully they'll keep distance. So that is firing its cannon and I'm going towards it. Obviously, these tracks are not very fast when they're going uphill. Well, in general, actually, they're not very fast. But uh, we should be able to ram into that. There you go. The saw is chopping away. You can see we're taking some damage on the ablative section. Oh, crush, crush, crush. And, yep, we're over the top of that. No problem whatsoever. That's exactly what I wanted. And we are going forward now. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah, so we've got this ablative section here. <laughs> I love the... How physical it is, you know, the way they sort of crush and bounce, like the suspension does actually feel like it's working. This is technically disarmed now for some reason because, oh, we've lost all of the ammo at the back. We had an explosion there, which is not good. Doesn't really matter too much as long as we get to where we need to go, which is pretty much right next to this. And we will say board ship and we will board the back one because we can jump from one to the other. This one will ram further forward to there. Because what will happen is these guys will hopefully get out, jump onto this, and then jump onto the next one. This one we will say board, and that one there. You can see, yes, they are climbing along. That's okay. And there we are. So this one will actually... We could even we could even ram. Ram further forward. Let's just push the other one in. There we go. Yep, pushed it further forward. You can see the saw is cutting through this area. We are boarding the vessel at the back. It looks like we're probably going to... Oh, I don't know if we're going to lose that one. All I do know is that there's a lot of fire. Yep, we've captured the first one. The second one at the back is... We haven't been able to capture that. We have not been able to capture that. But I'm going to say move troops to the back. And for some reason, the, the button is um, flashing a little bit. I don't know why. Although, we have lost our... Uh, back end, there we go. I'll move back and that should drop down. Then we might be able to actually climb over our own vehicle here. And no, we can't. But we might uh, We might be able to. We just have to back up a bit more. To there. See? Oh, there we are. There's, there are some guys trying to board. This one will say ram to there. Go, go, go. It's these uh, little blit of sections that are causing us an issue here. We might be able to ram... We might be able to destroy our... No, we can't. We don't have enough... We don't have the uh, weight to do it. 
and we can't. I am saying board, and they are slowly getting there. Look, can you see they're slowly climbing? Slowly climbing. Um, pull back a bit more. Hmm, I might lose this just because they can't get over. <laughs> yeah, we're slowly going to be ramming this chunk off. Once the tracks are over, once the tracks are over, we should be okay. It's just the, the ground clearance of these tracks is fairly poor, so... If we just have to try and do this. <laughs> Looks like we are boarding again, though. Are we boarding? They are slowly moving, but it's got that, that age-old issue with ground troops. They're not very good. They just seem to be a bit iffy. There's the ram. There's the fire that's going to take us out with this game. Oh, no. Oh, we put we put one of them out, but it is full of coal, after all. And it just keeps going on fire. There's another ram. Yeah, we can't do it. We can't do it. We've captured one. I don't know what the solution is. Uh, let's pause and take, take stock here. So this one, we can't issue any troops. This one, we have got troops, but we... Uh, well, we're basically, basically fully glitched out. There's nothing we can do there. Um, those have been ordered to move, and I can't issue any other orders. They are slowly moving up. We've just lost the tracks on this thing. It is now on fire. Um, transfer crew over to that. Uh, no reason why we can't transfer the crew. And then transfer the crew over to this one. Uh, we are boarding now, as you can see, and yeah, the one guy got on board and then stopped because they are... Well, look, there's our crew. They're slowly going across, but it's not happening. I'm going to keep the fight going just because we might look out and something might happen. There's another boarding guy. There's two boarding guys, but, I mean, they've got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, they're, they're just getting put down straight away. Oh, we got it! Oh, my good grief. Well, I don't think we should have won that. I'm not. I'm, it's not a complaint, really. Um, I think, you know, they would have had that, but we managed to take them out and capture it. Victory. Um, gentle takeover. I, I do. Oh, they're actually running. Right. Okay. I'm. I would like to move down back here. I am going to move one of the vehicles down just to guard it. The problem now is that I don't have any. I don't really have any way to defend these things because they're all, they're all the, uh, there's no defense, there's no real ground structures on these ones. In fact, there definitely isn't any ground structures. Uh, let's go to defenses and do we have a defense here? Oh, we do have some defenses. We do have some defenses. So this is okay. Um, yeah, that's not too bad, those ones. So actually, Genericans is fine. We could probably move this thing off Genericans because it does have some defenses, but we want to have some in... Narkillion and uh, in Cullen, whatever it's called. Don't even attempt. I'm not even attempting to <laughs> pronounce some of these names. Um, let's repair both of those. So that works. That does work. So the next one I reckon is uh, Woundford. So we're going to send a spy and we're going to see what they've got. There's another alliance. So that's. Again, a bit worrying because of. Oh my good grief. Look what they've got there. Yeah, that's that's a lot of defensive structures. Right, so if we attack that, we definitely need to fling everything we've got there, which is going to leave us open from here. But if you look, they're already engaged in a bit of a war down the bottom. Also looks like they're sending some airships towards uh, Generic, and so I'm actually going to send my airship back over, and maybe that'll discourage them. Let's have a quick look. And stop. They are, yes, they have been discouraged, and they're going down. What's worrying now is that um, the alliances are starting to really, well, the, the alliance is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and eventually we're going to end up with like a two or three party system here where there's going to be me if I even survive this. Uh, obviously in the centre we've got a big alliance of all of these nations here. We've got a fairly decent one on the east which includes uh, the island Dagger Guild at the bottom as well as Square Moss here which obviously is going to take over that island I guess at some point although... Although that's a ground vessel and it can't get across to there, so it would have to simply use the airships. Mm, it could go either way. So I need to take this guy out, control this entire western section, and then head inland. But we'll unpause it for a second. We'll see how it goes, how these attacks go. Hopefully these two empires will attack each other and have a stalemate, essentially. If it isn't like that, then it means me attacking them is going to be a bit problematic. Obviously there is still, uh, there is still some attack attacking here. Looks like they've managed to take this island now, this alliance, and they are retreating back to Ringfast. 
Looks like the brigands are being defeated. So they are going around to destroy the brigands and the giant spiders and stuff like that. Almost enough money now to build. Oh, we've got heavy cannon here as well, which is pretty good. Uh, we'll go to build land ship and the liftington is possible. So we will build it. And by the way, I have no idea if this is going to work. If it doesn't work, then... Fine, doesn't work, I guess. Um, uh, Liftington, uh, Liftington has been sabotaged. There's always got spies about this place. Let's move this over to Cullen Void. And then we will have to... We will really need to eventually... Oh, God, that's wrong. Didn't mean to attack that. Um, looks like that guy's been defeated by the giant spiders. I want to, I want to use this uncouth, but I think we need that as a fast, fast reaction vessel to go between these two. So as you can see, these two guys are really just sledging each other, and yeah, that's fine. Taking over that, and oh, good grief! This this uh, this alliance is really getting attacked. Actually, only an idiot fights a war on two fronts. Only the heir to the king of idiots fights a war on seven fronts. He's currently got a war on his well, western, northeastern, and southeastern borders. <laughs> So he's lost one, two, three cities in as many minutes. Anyway, let us move over to Woundford and let's see if the really stupid vessel that we've made earlier is actually going to win. God, grief, that guy's getting cut in half. So, they've got whatever that thing is and they've got these two. So as you can see, getting these vehicles through this tree line, up and through this very rough terrain would be very problematic. So we'll reserve both of these. We'll move this further forward to there, which you can see now that the legs are keeping it up. We'll activate these and... Oh, we can't put it above it! No! No, 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 no! Oh, don't say... No, I thought we could place it above it. Oh, that's very, very, very bad. Can we not... Is there not a way we can go further down? No, it's not going to allow us. Oh, that's so... <sighs> yeah. We'll have to manually move it down and then try and drive them on. It's not going to work. It's just not going to work. Damn it. It's so deflating, that. I was hoping this would work. We'll click start, and as you can see, it does go down, and then we can move it back. But we can't... We See, we can't... We can't alter the height. We can't alter the height. It will have its own height. Bloody hell, it's slow. But then we might be able to ram this on board. We'll sim ram to there. Let's see what it does. Yeah, yeah, it just chops through the back of it. Flee, run. Okay, it doesn't work, right? <laughs> Damn it. That's a shame. I think it might have its purpose at some point. I don't know what that purpose is. Do you know what would be better, actually? What would be better... Let's try it. Mm, click on that. This it's probably repair it first. Done. So the liftington. Re refit. Get rid of those legs. So over to structural. Uh, sorry, propulsion. Large tracks. Get rid of those. Hang on. Get rid of that and get rid of that. Why is it? What did it remove there? Hmm. It's it's just removing parts now that I'm not clicking on. I am, it's just the orientation of it. Right, corridor there. Fire door there. Okay. Propulsion. Large tracks. Right. Okay. Save design. Uh, Actually, cancel. This is going to be a massive problem. Okay, save it. Well, just let's just see what it does. Save the design, and it should be done. Move to there. Invade. Now, because it's so low to the ground, we should be able to put stuff on top, or at least move it over and drive stuff on. And that didn't work. Flee. I thought I said refit. Apparently, I apparently I didn't. Obviously, but that's over there. Refit. Open design. Lifting to... Apparently I just didn't save it. I don't know what I was doing then. Large tracks. Remove. 
remove, large tracks, there, there, save, save, yes, refit, right. It looks like this guy has, ah, I was going to say they've been destroyed, but they haven't, they've just gone into another alliance, okay, right. And let's try it for the third and final time, and I do think it will be the final time because this is a vehicle that's just simply not going to work. It's just, I think it would actually function if we were allowed to, um, if some of the, if it worked like I, um, if it worked so we can place these upper heights so they would drop onto it, then I think it would work. As it is at the moment, it's not going to work. Start. But look at this. That's now, ah, that's actually worked out. You can see this big section here, it's actually crushed the trees which is sort of what we wanted. We're then going to move it back to there, which it's then there. This then is going to ram to there. And is it going to cross? You know what? This We might have some... We might have something here. That's the wrong button. Oh, my God. Oh, my God! <laughs> yes! Well... You know what? The design document said for some sort of vessel that can take us across. Let's stop. Stop that. Um, we're on board. Right. Um, is there just a stop? I'm sure there's a stop. Uh, we'll just say move to there. Or we'll say ram to there. Right, and this one will say ram to there. Now you see it's further below because it always tries to it always tries to go like to the ground, right? But this one, we can now click ram to there because it's now on top. Will it move? <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. <laughs> No, no, it doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. I'm not even mad. <laughs> because it moved and then all of these struts just immediately destroyed himself because of the weight of the stuff on top. But you know what? It managed. This here, going, going through this, might have caused me a lot of damage on these vehicles. And as you can see, the damage that this thing sustained was because of it trying to ram underneath. Maybe it was RAM if I just maybe, if I maybe used MOVE instead. No, if I used MOVE, if I used the MOVE order, it would still move the same. It's just the MOVE order um, means that if it gets, if it does something that would make contact with another vessel, it stops immediately, which is obviously not something we want. Um, we want to have it uh, continue going. It would probably, it would probably stop. Because of the things on top of it, it probably wouldn't move. It probably wouldn't be able to, uh, it probably wouldn't be able to issue the order. Anyway, so we are ramming at the front here with both vehicles. As you can see, we're going to say board vessel and that one. This one, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to board vessel and that one there. And all of the Marines, which are, well, there's a fair few of them. They're going to jump off and they're going to start boarding this thing here. Obviously, we are soaring. You can hear it. And actually, we're pushing it. You see that? We're actually pushing the defensive structure. Wow. I never thought I I never thought that was even a thing. I didn't know you could push it. Well, we're going to board it by the look of it. Cuz we've got a lot of torque on this. More torque than a standard YouTuber in fact. Uh boarding. Come on. Come on. Yeah, we've we've got that. We've definitely got that. He says without any degree of confidence. Yeah, there we are. So, we've now got this and now they're shooting at each other. That is just fine with me. And then this one, we're going to see if we can keep pushing. Uh, we will say board vessel once more. And see if we can board this one. Because we've still got loads of marines. And hopefully we can just board from one to the other. Yep, we are boarding. These are, yeah, you're getting fairly wrecked, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, we, managed, we, we lost that. We have lost that. We didn't have nowhere near the same amount of marines. Because obviously we've now manned this. You can see all these Gala Marines are on board there. But can I say board again? Yeah, we do have a couple more Marines. Maybe we can give this a go. So we'll come in and take that guy out and take that guy. Nah, nah, we're not going to be able to do it. Nah, afraid not. 
They will give. They've got. Oh, they've still got lords on board. Look, they're still coming. Things are blowing up uh, quite badly. Um, look at all the marines here. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight marines. They would be able to take out that structure. I think. It's just because of the age-old glitch of it. You know, ground marines, ground like that is just problematic. So, do we continue the fight? Well, you know what? I'm going to continue the fight. I'm going to speed it up. And the reason for that is hopefully our marines will get there quicker. Also, because we've captured this, the best case scenario is that um, these guys run out of ammo and they win. The worst case is that they eventually shoot this and destroy it. Either way, it's a win-win for me. And, uh, you know, these, these, these things are dead. They're gone. So, you know, they're not doing anything. Um, it looks like we're actually repairing it up. Can you see they're running around actually trying to repair it? Uh, this one, you know what? We might be able to do something here. Um, just keep ramming. No. Nah. These guys, board ship, that one. Take it over. Nah. Nah. So, have these guys run out of ammo? I don't know. I'm just sort of trying to push this forward. I think I'm out of call as well. Yeah, it's out of call. Out of call. This one's out of call. I'm all crew, everything. There are some shots going out, look. Can you hear that little pop, 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 pop? I don't know what it is. What's even? I don't even know what's shooting, really. It's sort of gone all silent. I think there's like a little gun or something around here. What would it be? <laughs> I don't know. Go to max speed. <clears throat> if these surrender, then we win. So, I'm happy just to wait it out. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Hmm. I and mean, that's a bit of a train, that isn't it? That's a bit of a raw. All lined up, all congering. And it, that's, I mean, that is taking damage. It's a shame that these don't have a target. Although I would assume that that was a valid target. Can I not target that? No, no target available. But that arc clearly shows that that's there. Hmm. You know what? I don't think we're going to be able to do that one. I'm going to have to flee. I'm going to have to flee, and we'll have to go back to there. Anyway, that was our Liftington. I think it was flawed in so many ways. It would work better if we could place it where we want to, and instead of it always trying to uh, ground itself, I think it would work better. But even then, we saw the, the limitations of it, especially when it tried to move and pretty much snapped itself in two. But... You know what? The fact that it worked once was enough for me. I'm happy with that. <laughs> and it was an interesting thing. We've tried it. We know not to try it again. As always, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.